in 313 airbrushing how you guys doing it's Michael J Dominguez coming at you with this week's peace of mind so what we got going on well let's see my buddy Nick uh, he's out in uh, space I'll be posting a picture of that he's uh, currently being on display in the uh, Lodi art community so uh, I will have a picture of that to put up on Instagram and uh, show you where he's at. And he's like the first thing you see when you come walking into the gallery. It's like you walk right in and you look to your right, boom, there he is. So obviously the people hanging this month thought that it was a very pronounced piece and uh, liked what they show. So I'm very happy about that and very grateful to uh, JC over to Lodi Art Community for, uh, for giving me such a prominent spot. You know, that's really nice of them. So that way I can have my business card for uh, airbrushing for autism and uh, try and get the message out there that what we're doing. So other than that, let's see what we got going on this week. This week uh, we're going to be talking about perspective and uh, getting a different view of things. You know, why it's important to have mentors in your life. People who can look into your world from another point of view that maybe are further down the line or further up, further along the map than you are. And uh, it's kind of funny, I, I was sitting there thinking to myself, I was thinking about uh, City Slickers, the old Billy Crystal movie, and now he had the guy, you know, uh, Curly, who was out there, and he, he was the old grizzled kind of guy, and was saying, you know, he was kind of like their their guide, he, he, he'd been on the, the trails before, so he, he knew the ins and outs, and uh, I was thinking about, like, you know, sometimes it, it's good to have somebody uh, who's a little more grizzled, a little more uh, further down the line of where you're at, to, uh, to give you an idea of what, what's going on. And uh, I had a decision I had to come up with this last weekend. And, it, it, you know, the, the world had had, had me uh, on the ropes a little bit, you know. It kind of had me a little jaded, had me kind of uh, in a little grumpy mic, to say the least. And so I, I, was, I just didn't feel like it was, it was my place to make this choice, make this decision to say, you know, hey, do this, do that. So I contacted a mentor of mine that was a little bit further down the line of uh, where I was heading. And I uh, said to him, hey, do me a favor, take a look at my map, take a look at where I'm at, and tell me where you're at, and bridge the two. You know, where I'm going, and, and where you're at, you know, do, do, they, do they meet? It is, is what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna invest in actually gonna to bring me closer? Is if I, if I utilize my time in a certain way, am I gonna be closer to where you're at? Granted, you, you will be further along you know, by the time I get there, which is great, that's fantastic, you, know, you you do well, I do well, we all do well, you know, as long as the tide rises, all the ships, you know, go up as well, so that, that part was fine, that's why I wanted to ask him, you know, is this a, a proper investment of, of, of my time and talent, you know, is this, is this gonna, is this gonna be a better, you know, endeavor for 313 airbrushing and the airbrushing for autism, and am I gonna garner as much, because, as I'm sure everybody knows, you know, sometimes it's all about perspective, you know, and, and perspective will, will, will play with you sometimes because, like, granted, like, you guys look at the camera, my man, and it looks huge, but you pull back and you go, yeah, it's not all that, you know, so that happens sometimes in life, you know, you sit there and you go like, man, I said, this problem is just enormous, and all of a sudden you get somebody else from the other side and he's looking and going, dude, it, it's like in less than an inch. What are you talking about? That's not a problem, man. That's a little, that's not even a speed bump. That's a, that's a, that's a goose bump. <laughs> you know, just rub your arm and, uh, and get it off, you know. It's no big deal, you know. Shake it off. And you're like, oh, but it's so huge. And it's like, no. Stop for a second. Flip it around and take a look. And you'll see that it really isn't that big of a deal you just got to step back for him for a second, and that's pretty much where I was at. You know, I was so into it, I was, I was just, just engrossed in, in, in the funk that I, I was like, you know, hold on, time out, man, time out. I, I, I need a somebody else. I need a mentor. I need to reach out. You know, I need to do my, my little, you know, millionaire lifeline and call, call somebody and say, hey, what do you think, man? Are we? Am I, am I doing what I think I should be doing, or am I just, you know, not seeing things clearly? And he, he came back to me. And he, and he told me some, some Bible information. He, he gave, me, gave it to me plain and simple. He said, look, you will get out what you put in, you know. And that's why I told him, I said, I understand. I'll get out what I put in. But currently in my, my environment, it, 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 it's, it, it, it's geeko. It's garbage in, garbage out, you know. So 
put in something good real quick, you know, flip flip it around and, 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 and throw something, you know, once again, hit the DJ switch and, and put a new platter on for me because I, I just can't seem to reach, man. I'm like, I'm like Indiana Jones reaching for the bullwhip and it's just, just that far away from me. You know, so basically, yeah, he, he gave me a little lifeline, gave me some, some, some real knowledge and some real lessons and said, hey, you know, true, true talk. You know, and I was like, you know, and I respect him for that. That's why I reached out to him to begin with. And I explained that to him. You know, I respect what you're saying and I, and I, I want to do and, and, and I want to I wanna listen to what you have to, to advise me on. And, and that's what you need sometimes. You need a mentor. You need somebody to walk life with you and say, hey, time out, man. You know, or you just need to, to, to know yourself well enough. To say, you know, you know, like I said, I had my mentor Ed, you know, and he'd be like, Michael, Michael, time, man, time. You know what the hell you're doing? <laughs> Last time I checked, if you're in a hole, stop digging. I'm <laughs> like, okay, Ed, got you, man, got you. So, like I said, it, it does help sometimes. That, you know, that's what I want to say. It's all about perspective. And sometimes, if you feel like you're on the wrong track, reach out to somebody. Reach out to a pastor, reach out to a friend, reach out to somebody who loves you, you know I mean? Because you love you, but sometimes you may not like you that much. So you need to reach out to somebody who loves you and you listen to that will say, hey, time out, man. Time out, little, little, little one, you know, time out, you know, girl, you know, <laughs> girlfriend, you just need to hold up, you know, or, or, or bro, please, <laughs> don't do this, you know, or do this. And that was the case, that was my case, you know, I, I needed somebody to tell me, hey, do this because you're doing really, really well. Things are going really good, but you're just not seeing it because you're so close to it, you know, and, 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 and that is what, what got me where I'm, I'm positioned at in the Lone Hour community, you know, it was, you know, that was one of the, the questions, you know. Am I at a spot that I should even be doing this? You know, do I have what it takes to, to, to put my brand on this and, and, and give it a go? And he was, hey, you know, you're doing it. You're in there you're every day and you're making it happen. And that's all you can ask for. So remember, you know, just do the best you can and everything else will work itself out. So, but like I said, it does help to have a mentor to bring you back and say, hey, you know, good job, outstanding, way to go. Make it happen, you know, or look at it from this point of view. Does this really look like this? Because it does something I checked, it wasn't that big once you get out from in front of it. So, as always, everybody, like I said, I'll be back next week. I was going to talk about the, uh, the why and the words and also go in a little bit more in depth about, you know, the one thing, the book I was reading that's kind of funny. I was talking about, I was thinking about, you know, City Slickers and, and, and in here, the one thing, you know, Gary, Gary Keller actually talks about, you know, talks about it in the, in the beginning of his book. And I, I had just happened to, you know, pick up the book, you know, after thinking about that and said, you know, I wonder if this is any good. And I started reading the first chapter and he talked about City Slickers and I said, bingo, got to get it. But he talks about having to, you know, his business wasn't doing as well as he thought it should. And. He had to go to a mentor and say, you know, what do you think I should do? And the mentor said, you know, well, do this one thing. And he goes in depth about it. But I'll be talking about the one thing, you know, a little bit later on. I'm going to talk about the why from the uh, Words words for Pictures book that I was talking about. Uh, I said I was going to talk about this week. But something even bigger in life came up that said, hey, talk about getting a mentor. Talk about having people run life with you. Talk about making it work from another perspective because sometimes you need someone to, 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 to flip it around for you and, and, and show you the, the good side of things. So, until next week everybody, this is Mike Dominguez with your peace of mind and uh, you guys just keep showing them Colgate, okay? Bye. <laughs>